好，我们来看到国防部历来发布的解放军军机每天的动态哦，都没有提到中共解放军歼二十隐形战机的行踪。但是呢，大陆的央视近来发布的一则新闻，解放军的飞行军官声称曾经参与围台军演，而且还可以清楚地看到台湾的海岸线跟山脉。大陆的军事类型媒体就说了，此番表态不仅证明了歼二十参与台海的巡逻，穿过台海中线。逼近海岸线，从台湾发布的解放军军纪动态，从未出现歼二十来看，也意味着台湾方面是毫无察觉的。美国国务卿布林肯即将访问大陆了。好，为此，美中军事官员举行了事前的会谈，中方关切美国众议院议长麦卡锡可能会访问台湾。好，美方则是警告了大陆，不得在俄乌战争当中向俄罗斯提供实质的援助。双方现在已经各自画下红线。针对美国务卿布林肯即将访问中国大陆，美中军事官员十七号举行了两小时的会谈，会中双方各自画下红线。中方对美众议院议长麦卡锡可能访台表达了特别的关切。对此，美国提醒中方，众院的运作独立于政府之外，因此希望大陆不要对麦卡锡的可能访台在台海周边做出过度的反应，这可能导致军事上的意外。至于美方，则是警告中国大陆不要在莫斯科对乌的战争中向。俄罗斯提供实质和安全的援助。另外，日媒报道，美国国民兵已经扩大对台湾军队的训练，而且从去年春季就已经开始。内容包括陆军战术演练、飞机操作以及网络防御等，反映出对台潜在军事危机的担忧，也借此强化台湾对中共的政治力。但是，五角大厦拒绝评论。仅表示对台承诺坚若磐石。至于大陆领导人习近平，则是在国务院春节的团拜上，向各界以及台湾的民众拜年。台湾同胞和海外侨胞拜年，祝大家新春愉快。回顾去年一年，他表示坚定开展反分裂、反干涉重大斗争，牢牢把握两岸关系的主动权，显示在新的一年对台事务将会以此为基调。记者综合报道：秘鲁警方突袭位于首都利马，有一所大学拘捕了超过两百位的民众。影像显示，警方出动了坦克车冲撞学校的铁门，然后大批的警力长驱直入，开始拘捕在内的民众，理由是非法侵入还有偷窃。警方发布了声明，表示一群示威者带着面。面具冲进大学的校园，还驱离警卫，拿走他们防护器具等等设备。警方接回的突袭行动，大约是拘捕了两百零五人。我国驻美代表肖美琴接受了美联社的专访，在相关的提问内容当中，肖美琴被问到了部分美国国会议员认为美国应该要放弃战略模糊政策，明确表示美国会跟台湾并肩作战。好，另外呢，媒体报道指出了美国的国民兵已经开始训练台湾部队。肖美琴其实对于这两个问题都没有正面答复，但是她强调的是台湾正做。做好了准备，避免乌克兰的悲剧会在台湾重演。至于美国的众议院议长麦卡锡到底会不会来到台湾访问呢？肖美琴说，这是他个人的决定。但是呢，北京政府无权决定或者是定义台湾应该如何跟世界打交道。Everything we're doing now is to prevent、um, the pain and suffering of the tragedy of Ukraine from being repeated in our scenario in Taiwan. Um, so ultimately, we seek to deter、um, the use of military force.、Um, but in a worst-case scenario,、uh, we understand that、uh, we have to be better prepared,、uh, so as to fortify our defenses and to prevent、um, an attack from harming the people of Taiwan.、Um, so we are watching closely.、Uh, there are a lot of sympathies for the Ukrainian people in Taiwan. We have. Sent a lot of humanitarian aid and support、uh, from our people、uh, to the Ukrainian people.、Um, from a defense and security uh, perspective, um, we are learning that um, uh, there is is much to be done、um, in terms of countering an asymmetric、uh, situation.、Uh, the Ukrainian resistance has、uh, proved to be very resilient,、uh, which is、uh, rather inspiring、uh, for many. Um, and we are also targeting our own defense reforms、uh, in a way that will also、uh, enable our defenses to be resilient and strong in an asymmetric way.、Uh, I think it's critical uh, to um, send a consistent message uh, to um, the authoritarian leaders um, that force is never an option. 
force will not be tolerated. Um, the use of force will be met by a strong international response, uh, including uh, consequences uh, on the party that initiates such uh, unprovoked uh, uh, military force. The U.S. for decades now has had the policy of strategic ambiguity where it, 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 it leaves ambiguous whether its military would respond if China were to attack Taiwan. Is, is that still serving the purpose that it needs to? It has preserved peace. Uh, the status quo has um, enabled uh, a situation where uh, we have had significant political differences across the Taiwan Strait, um, and yet uh, we can coexist in a peaceful way. Um, in terms of uh, um, international assistance uh, for Taiwan, of course, the people of Taiwan uh, welcome uh, any help possible uh, in maintaining the peace and stability uh, that serves our interests. Um, but at the same time, we also understand that we have to be uh, willing to invest in our own defenses uh, if we are to expect anyone to help us. Should um, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy uh, visit Taiwan while he's in office as House Speaker? Well, uh, that will be his decision. Um, but uh, I think ultimately uh, the people of Taiwan have welcomed visitors from out around the world. Um, Taiwan uh, is encountering a situation where we are constantly facing um, China's suppression of our international space. Uh, we are being bullied um, against making friends uh, internationally. Uh, we are China, uh, the PRC government, uh, through its uh, global uh, political influence campaigns, uh, seeks to marginalize Taiwan and prevent the people of Taiwan. Uh, from connecting to the world. And so I must say that, uh, you know, as a general principle, the people of Taiwan are always open and, and welcoming uh, to international uh, visitors. Um, uh, ha having said that, I think it's uh, important to highlight that, um, you know, the PRC government uh, has no right to decide or define um, how we engage with the world. Um, we are a globally connected society today. And um, I think the people of Taiwan desire to have friends. Uh, we will continue to try to make friends.